don't know me, my name is Triana Tellabumble and I am an absolutely fabulous member of the Time Police. Go do the actions with me. Time Police! There we are, that's good. Yeah, so I'm not really part of the Time Police, but my dad is though, and he's actually the chief of all the Time Police. He, he travels through time, fighting time-travelling bad guys, he scares off fuzzbugs, and just searches the universe for ways he can help save the world. Or at least he does normally. You see, sometimes I'm a little bit naughty, and I like to borrow this. It's uh, Dad's mega clock, and with it I can go on adventures. I can surf on pterodactyls, I can play didgeridoos with aborigines, I can watch big scary samurai fight on the battlefield. Or I can just have a nice tea with some Victorian ladies. Anyway though, this isn't actually the first time I've been back to your time. Last year I ended up in East Park and I managed to trap all of these famous figures from around all there with me. Thankfully though, we had a bunch of you guys there to help us out. And we managed to fix everything and get it all back to normal. Since then though, I have felt a little bit bad because I couldn't really give you a heads up on how 2020 was going to turn out. So what I've done is I've gathered all of the friends from before, brought them back to 2020, and hopefully we'll be giving you guys some stuff to do over the summer holidays. The first one that we've got today is Sir James Wreckett. I say, is that my cue? I, 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 do remind me, what year is this? 2020. 2020? Well, blow me down. I was born in 1833, so that must make me... 187! Say, I'm not looking half bad for a 187-year-old. I've told you before, Mr. Reckitt, you're not really that old. You're only... Well, I was in 1896 before I came here, so that must make me... 63. Well, that's not nearly as impressive. I'm going to pretend to be 187, but shh. Oh, I say, are we in another park? Uh, did I make this one as well? Oh, what a splendiferous tree. I must write that in my journal. Uh, no, Mr. Reckitt, this one is Pearson Park. Your park is at the other side of Hull from this one. So James Reckitt may seem a little silly, but he'll actually go on to do a load of amazing things for Hull. Yes, my dear lady! I am first and foremost a businessman, but I am also a self-styled philanthropist. My daddy, Sir Isaac Reckitt, he made all sorts. Starch, bleach, laundry blue, all the things that make your world sparkly and clean. And when he handed the business over to me and my brothers, we transformed it into Reckitt and Sons. Oh, and we did all sorts. We built factories in Stone Ferry and we traded overseas, from Australia to America. The Queen even made me a baronet. What's a baronet? It's a bit like a baron. Being a baronet is great, as everyone has to call you sir all the time. So really, it's Sir Reckitt, not Mr. But anyway, being so successful and having all of this money is worth nothing if you're not going to do something useful with it. So I spent a lot of time with charities and making sure that people were well looked after. I even opened Hull's first library, the James Reckitt Public Library, because sometimes all you need is a good book. So what activity are you going to give to the guys at home today? Well. I was a bit sneaky today, and before I came here, I went to the Central Library in Hull. The great thing about where you live is that there are so many libraries you can check books out from. Yeah, and books are great. Like, if it's a factual book, you can learn so much from them, or just get lost in the adventure inside. Exactly! Oh, this is my favourite children's book. It's called Dinosaurs. Arr. It's very clever, this. I have to say, we don't have books like this where I come from. Look, it, it changes colour. Oh, would you look at that? Ah. Now, what I would like to know from you is what your favourite book is. Uh, maybe it's worth having another read. And if you're feeling particularly cool, then maybe give us a little review of it. Uh, 
tell us what the story is about, who the coolest character is, and maybe what story you would like to tell with the same characters. Mm. Ooh, great idea. And at the end of the series, we'll be uploading an episode showing off all of our favourite submissions, so make sure you get involved. <laughs> oh, I, that sounds like my time is almost up. Uh, uh, goodbye, everyone, and see you soon. Oh, goodbye, Mr Rickett. Thanks for dropping by. Well, it looks like my time's up as well. But don't worry, I'll be back this time next week with a new friend for you all to meet. In the meantime, though, don't forget to let us know about your favourite book in the comments, and I'll see you next week. Bye, everyone. Thank you.